been like for your defensive line and some guys getting hurt right and left and uh, you know it kind of a patchwork defensive line at times in this past game uh, what is what has that been like for you I mean uh, for me I mean it, it's been it's been what it is. Like guys go down, next man steps up. Um, in our defensive line, we have all we need. And uh, if another guy goes down, the next guy's going to step up, and he's going to do what we need from. We believe in each other. We believe in the next guy that's going <clears> to. <throat> we believe in the next guy who's going to come in. He's going to do his job. Because that's that's what we preach. That's what uh, Coach Hart preaches. That's what Coach Anderson preaches. Just do your job, and we'll be fine. That's what we believe that's going to happen with the next guy who's coming in. And so, I mean, of course it's been hard having guys go down, but it hasn't affected us like terribly. We know what's, we know who's going to, like if like Nate's going to come in, we know he's going to do his job. We, we believe in each other. How do you evaluate your play through a first quarter of the season or third of the season? Um, myself, I'm very hard on myself because I want to be the best player I can be. And uh, I feel like I've been doing some things all right, but I want to play better in every aspect of the game. Um, still warming up to college football, but I feel like I can do a lot better, and uh, I feel like I have a lot more for my teammates and for myself. How much nose tackle have you been playing? Um, How much nose, nose tackle have you been playing? Um, I didn't play. I played one game of nose tackle in high school, um, but this in for Stanford, I played a lot the first four games, then more than I expected. Um, especially with Harrison out. Um, I mean, it's been new for me, but I'm getting the hang of it. Uh, just been trying to trying to adjust as much as I can to play the best I can for for my team, and just with Coach Hart and all those guys after practice, trying to fix things. Well, you're kind of playing out of position, though, right? I mean, and how tough is it when you a lot of times you're facing two guys? Right? Mm -hmm. I mean, at nose is a hard for me. It's a harder position. Um, not being the ideal nose size, um, 300 pounds. But, um, I mean, uh, Coach Hart is an amazing coach, and he's coached me up very well. And I've been able to do what I can in that position and just work on my technique because that's what's going to separate me it's, with not having the size that I need is I have to be uh, the more physical player and I have to be better uh, technique-wise. So uh, that's what's really going to help me out. Mike, you live in Australia for five years. Your parents had a job. Um, my dad worked for uh, P and G at the time, Procter and Gamble, and uh, uh, he was an uh, international sales manager at the time, and so that's why we lived in Australia. So it was it was a great experience. You play rugby? Or? I did not. I was a swimmer at the time, but um, that would have been my first guy. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I might have down the road if I stayed there. <laughs> How old were you when you were in Australia? I think from the ages three to eight. You had a creative uh, way of announcing you were coming to Stanford. Kind of, what? How did how did you come up with that idea? Um, I just uh, I don't wear hats. I'm not a big hat guy, so I didn't have a Stanford hat, so I couldn't do it the original way. So I had to come up with a different way. And we had this little tree on our uh, kitchen counter, and I was like, that's a perfect way, I guess. And so it ended up working out. <laughs> How tough was it trying to catch Seth Collins in this game Saturday? Um, he's really fast. Uh, he's very elusive, and he's a great quarterback for a freshman. And um, it was pretty tough, uh, but we preached contain all week long and did our best to contain him. You play any special teams at all? Um, I play on field goal block. Yeah, that's it. What does Blake Martinez mean in defense? <laughs> he means a lot. Blake's a great player. He's a leader on our defense. Um, he's always getting guys going, making sure we're in the right spots, uh, always challenging us to be better. Um, it's a blessing to have him as our leader on defense and as one of our best players. Did you have any opinion? I mean, it's a little different subject, but obviously the national news when uh, two high school safeties attacked the route. It was in Texas. Mm -hmm. A little bit later, San Antonio, another attack, a player. Did you? Opinion on that, the Texas thing, are you surprised? Or? Oh, I was definitely surprised uh, to blatantly uh, hurt and hit a referee like that. I thought that was uh, terrible and just not good by the coaching staff or the players. Were you caught on? 
Capella's. You're, you're in Dallas. Yeah, yeah three, yeah, three or four hours from San Antonio. Sorry. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. How about it? Do you feel like you're confident? Are you more of a stop the run guy or you pass, rush the passer type of guy? What do you, what do you like to think you do that? Um, I'm still trying to figure that out myself. Just, uh, um, but. I, I'm just trying to work as hard as I can to become the best run stopper and become the best pass stopper I can be for myself and for this defense. Uh, yeah, that's still a work in progress. <laughs>